Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy, your home full of info you need to know when you're just trying to survive on a budget. Time for another bargain to eat and treats. This time we're looking at the Tyson Anitizers Wings Honey Barbecued Seasoned. If you want to learn more about them, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Like I said, we're looking at the Tyson's and a Tiger's Wings Honey Barbecued Season Chicken Wing Selections catered with Honey Barbecue Sauce, Smoke Flavor, and Caramel Color Added. Now, one of the first things I did was look at the back for the calories. It's a serving size of 3 ounces, serving con per container is 5 ounces. So it's 22 ounce bag divided by 3 ounce servings. That gives me 7.3 servings. But it says about back here about 5. 7.3 is in about 5. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and open up the bag. Now it goes for $6.68 at Walmart, and at 5 servings, it's a buck 68. Now, right out of the bag, these smell really barbecuey. They smell really good. So, we're going to divide this up into five servings. Which is about one and a half pieces. I don't know who in the right mind is going to eat one and a half wings. But besides that, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wings at six dollars and sixty-eight cents. Which is eighty-three cents a wing. Now when I go out to the Amvets, VFW, you know, places like that, I can usually find wings for about fifty cents a piece, and they're about two thirds the size. So price wise right now, I'm not seeing this as a really good deal. Especially if you gotta cook it yourself, then you gotta clean up the mess. So right now, as a bargain, it's really not a bargain. You're better off to go to like if you belong to like an Anvets or a VFW Eagles, something like that, you're probably just better off to go there and eat. But we're gonna throw this in the oven. Now they do have microwave instructions and conventional oven instructions. I'm gonna throw them in my toaster oven. To see how, how they are. I'm going to give them the best chance possible. So I got my oven preheated to 425. And I'm going to stick them in for 18 to 20 minutes. Okay these are fresh out of the oven. Now the directions did say to spray the aluminum foil. But I didn't do it. So if they stick. Well that's going to be on me. They're sticking a little bit. Not too bad. I got sticking pretty good. Okay, let's try a piece of this falling off batter. It's good. It ain't great. Here's another piece. Give it a second try. Once again, it's good, not great. A little piece of chicken. Oh, there you go. I have to be honest, I really wanted to like these. They're not 
not even average good. There's hardly any sauce on them. The chicken, when, when I go out and order wings, it's like a crispier chicken. The chicken itself, I ain't talking about the coating, is mushy. It just, if you ever bit into like soggy cereal, that's the best way I can describe it texture wise, soggy cereal. The taste is average at best. It's overpriced. Value for your buck isn't there. I mean, maybe this is a fluke. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order another bag and see if there's actually more in it. But for almost seven bucks for this, it's ridiculous. You're better going out. I know the doghouse has uh, six for like six fifty or something. And they're about the same size. Granted, there's only six, but the quality is so much better. I'll have a link to the doghouse video down below where I get the wings. But this, this is, come on, man. Five bucks now. Maybe four fifty. Okay, this is a definite pass. I'm going to give it, it is edible. It smells good. It's not hot dog gross. But it's not even averagely good, so I'm going to give it 2 out of 5. There, 2 out of 5. You're better off to just go over the hot food case at Walmart and get out of there. Okay, do me a favor, click on that subscribe button somewhere up in one of these corners. And as always, thank you for watching.